we want to use a limit comparison test to determine if the given infinite series converges or diverges. So for the first step, we'll determine what infinite series the given series resembles and if that series converges or diverges. So notice how this series resembles the series where we'd have the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by the square root of just n to the fourth. Now we can simplify this. Notice how this is equal to the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by, well the square root of n to the fourth would be n to the second. If this didn't simplify perfectly, we could always convert it to a rational exponent using the property of the nth root of a to the m equals a raised to the power of m divided by n. Notice in this case we'd have n raised to the power of four divided by two, which does give us n to the second. And we can simplify again, n divided by n to the second, but simplify to one over n. So this is equal to the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n. We should recognize this is a harmonic series, which diverges, or by the p-series test, with p equals one diverges. So now to apply the limit comparison test, if we let the summation of a sub n be the given series, where the summation of a sub n resembles the summation of b sub n, which we now know diverges by the p-series test with p equals one, then if the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n equals l, where l is positive and finite, again with the summation of b sub n being divergent, and the given series, a sub n, also diverges. If the summation of b sub n was convergent, and this limit was positive and finite, then the given series, the summation of a sub n, would be convergent. So going back to our example, let's begin by saying the given series resembles the summation from n equals one to infinity of n divided by the square root of n to the fourth, which equals the summation from n equals one to infinity of one divided by n, which diverges by the p-series test with p equals one, which is less than or equal to one. And now to apply the limit comparison test, we want to find the limit as n approaches infinity of a sub n divided by b sub n. So we'd have the limit, as n approaches infinity, a sub n would be n divided by the square root of n to the fourth plus two divided by b sub n, which can be any of these forms. Let's go ahead and use the original form of n divided by the square root of n to the fourth. So for the next step, we'll write this quotient as a product by multiplying by the reciprocal of n over the square root of n to the fourth. So we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of n divided by the square root of n to the fourth plus two times the reciprocal of n over the square root of n to the fourth, which would be the square root of n to the fourth divided by n. Notice how here we have n over n, which simplifies to one. So let's write this as the limit as n approaches infinity of, we need to make a choice as to whether we want to simplify the square root of n to the fourth as we did above. Let's just go ahead and do that and write that as n to the second divided by the square root of n to the fourth plus two. Now to find this limit, notice how the numerator is degree two, and because the denominator is the square root of n to the fourth, we can also think of this as a degree two. Therefore, if the degrees are the same, the limit is equal to the ratio of the leading coefficients, which would be one over one. But another way to show this limit would be to divide everything by the highest degree of n in the denominator which notice how it would be n to the fourth underneath the square root. So we can write this as the limit 
as n approaches infinity of, in the denominator we would have the square root of n to the fourth divided by n to the fourth plus two divided by n to the fourth. And because the square root of n to the fourth equals n to the second, we would divide the numerator by n to the second. So we'd have n to the second divided by n to the second, which simplifies to one. So now if we simplify, we'd have the limit as n approaches infinity of, this would be one, divided by, we'd have the square root of one plus two divided by n to the fourth. As n approaches infinity, notice how this fraction approaches zero. So we're left with one divided by one, which equals one for our limit. So if we recognize the shortcut way back here, we can easily find the limit as being equal to one, or we can show this work here to show the limit equals one. Either way, this limit is positive and finite, and because we compared the given series to a series that we knew diverged, the given series also diverges. And therefore, by the limit comparison test, the given series diverges. I hope you found this helpful.